NC. Hi all, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I got here again a great video. Um, I have here just a great idea. Um, normally, you just need here the square in the middle uh, for, let's say, the cooling itself. So this is the heat reader from the RSX, like you know, on the PlayStation 3. You can see it. And this is the cooler for the cell. And here you can also see, I don't know, but you already know. So this is the PlayStation Cell heat spreader. And um, I have here a great idea. Um, I'm going to now just make some tests for myself because it's all about testing, testing, testing. You already know that. Um, I'm going to cut all this heat spreader here. I'm going to just let the square in the middle because this is the most important that you have, let's say, contact to the chip or let's say to the cooler itself, okay? Because you got here your RSX, it's gonna sit here with thermal paste and then the heat transfer gets down again here, once again with thermal paste and just then it comes to cooler. So at last, heat spreaders, we all know, this is the biggest scam, this is the biggest bullshit ever. It's always better when the chip gets a direct cooling. Um, but in this case, I just thought myself, hey, why the hell? We don't need it anyway. So um, the rerun chips, they run never so hot. And the other problem is that the, let's say, GPU, which is the RSX, when it gets really hot, it gonna yeah just heat up all this heat spreader. That means that the VRAM chips also gets hot, yeah? Unnecessary, because uh, the VRAM chips, like I told, they get not that hot as the GPU, or then the GPU. So the GPU sits over here, um, it gets about, I don't know, 70, 72 degrees, maybe 74 and con conforms if it was deleted or not. So maybe the GPU gets around 78 degrees. So it's going to hit all the heat spreader and um, the heat spreader get, yeah, hit it up. Unnecessary, the VRAM chips get, let's say, the same, the same temperatures like the heat spread itself. So this is bullshit. The VRAM chips, they never get about 80 degrees in this case. And that's why I also say always in my videos um, that you don't need to apply here thermal paste on the four VRAM chips. So in this case, I'm going to just cut, like I told, all around here. Or let's say I'm going to prepare the seed spreader just that we have on the end the square in the middle, because this is the most important for the cooling, for the R6, for the GPU. And on this here, I have already begun to mark um, because I'm going to do the same on the cell. We just need the center. So the chip I'm going to sit directly over here and all the rest. I'm going to just prepare it for myself. I'm going to cut it away, lap it away. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I know that I, I want to do that <laughs> because less thermal paste, less problems. And the best is that you have, let's say, a better heat transfer because all the heat spreader here, you need to imagine there you have all around there thermal paste and that's why it needs to be, yeah, let's say transferred through the wall heat spreader and that's some kind of bullshit. Okay, I'm gonna now just um, prepare my stuff like I told here, I have begun. If you guys want to test that stuff with me, you know I'm crazy and see in the place to be. <laughs> so um, I have already here um, begun to do my marks so that I know how much I'm going to just cut away. And here I got it, set it on one centimeter and three millimeters, like you can see, okay? So one dot three, yeah? So this is um, for the chip, um, let's say, on this side. So you got here um, the silicone where it just stops, okay? So here you also get always, let's say, the yeah heat spreader, delete tool inside okay so you can just see that here because here you got your um yeah silicon around there so here you can just yeah remember that okay just remember that here i'm gonna just mark it uh, one centimeter uh zero three okay and you just move it and mark it okay so this is not just for me for my own tests and um so now you can see that this is the place that I'm going to cut away here again, the same thing.
And on the other side, I think I have marked exactly one centimeter. Take a look here. Uh, yes, now it's ready. Let's see. Yeah, it was one centimeter exactly. Okay, so you can see that. This is all that I'm going to cut away. Okay, all here around. I'm going to cut it away. Just the one in the middle is going to stay. Okay, and the same one. I'm gonna do with the RSX or with the RSX. So the square in the middle is gonna stay. All the rest gonna be throw in the trash. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nice and sexy. Oh yeah. Good. So now let's cool it down normally. Yeah. One and two. I could probably here um do it a little bit cleaner. But it's not important. So guys, look how cute this looks like. <laughs> Mini hitch breather. Not bad. Project Crazy NSC's hitch breather. <laughs> no, okay. Um, now I'm gonna explain you what I'm talking about. This is an old hitch breather that I had also laying around. Um, but it's just that you can understand what I'm talking about. So here normally you just need all about thermal paste. The other thing is that when you just um, build it back together, uh, some heat spreaders, they are not really flat or let's say in the line and it's very hard to get here some pressure. So that means sometimes you're going to have, yeah, let's say a little bit air between or it will not just be really nice in the back. Um, in the place so sometimes uh, you really have problems to let's say attach it back so in this case you're gonna have no more problem if you're gonna try to attach this guy back look how crazy it looks like um, the thing is like that um, you now here will just not need a lot of thermal paste the other thing is also you're gonna have uh, let's say a better pressure because you have not a big thing, you just have now a small square like this one here. So it will of course be better for the pressure. And uh, the same goes to the, yeah, let's say cell um, here. Nice cut NSC, hell yeah. <laughs> so, but later you're gonna just place it here like that and you can take uh, stuff like this and then you can, let's say, yeah, see how much you need to, um, yeah, let's say move and um but here later i'm gonna maybe also explain you how much so here you can just take a look by yourself and then you can just take care uh where the heat breather needs to come back but um it's always on my channel all about testing 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 okay you know already testing 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 okay so and this one this one gonna be placed back here then i'm gonna just take a look. I'm going to put thermal paste. Yeah, but I'm going to do this all on my baby, on my own baby. Okay, so, <laughs> but this is not just that you can understand what I mean. Um, later, I'm going to just apply here thermal paste. Then we're going to close the motherboard. Okay, we're going to close the motherboard and then we're going to open it again to see if the chip is really sitting perfectly over the mini die <laughs> or not okay so if you see that it's not perfect then you still can move it a little bit and we're gonna do this on this side and also on the right side okay so here 
we're gonna just place it back all together like it should be with thermal paste. And like I told, we're gonna close the motherboard, we're gonna fix it all, then we're gonna open it again, and then we're gonna take a look where, let's say, the thermal paste was sitting. And there you know if you need to move a little bit more to the right, to the left, up and down. Sempre assim, in cima, in cima, in cima, in cima. So in here you can just lap a little bit like that, see that? Um, yeah, just a little bit like that, so you can just cut the, let's say, the sharp edges or whatever. It's gonna just be better later for the thermal paste, so it's gonna not disturb anywhere, see that? Hope you can see that. Just a little bit here. Okay. And 400 is just perfect, it's not too much, and um, you can just, yeah, lap it over there. Here you got a minor scratch, yeah, just from the holder, but this doesn't matter, this is so mini-mini, it does not hurt, and um, yeah, it can stay like that, okay? You're gonna love it, promise it. So in this one here, you can still seal... Uh, you can still see the minor scratches that I have done, so I know where to cut. And you can see it's a nice cut and you don't need to do it even better. Because, yeah, this is the place where it will have no thermal paste at last. The chip gonna sit inside and, um, yeah, but you can just do it nice if you like for yourself with nice corners, nice edges or whatever it calls. So, yeah, just the best for my baby, <laughs> my lovely PlayStation 3, still alive, still rock and roll. Yeah, guys, so here, let me not just check, I can do a little bit here, and a little bit here, like I told, the chip sits later here, okay, so don't forget about that. Yeah, so, looks nice. Now the R6, of course, you do the same. With the R6, um, you can lap this side just a little bit because here the chip later gonna sit also, and you can just, like I told, just polish over there. So and finish. Okay, just polish. See that? And the other side, you do it also. Well, let's say this side, the R6 side, and this one here. You can press a little bit more. So you can see it looks nice and sexy. And here again, see that? Just like that. Now you can see here the difference. You can see here how yeah, shiny, see that? So we have now just cut the sharp edges. So see that? Here again. Okay, nice and sexy. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> and see what are you doing? This is gonna kill the PlayStation probably. Oh my God! Take care. Yeah, yeah. I already see all the haters coming. <laughs> but I don't care. Look at this, guys. So, one, two, and look at this. So. You can see <laughs> how much, uh, let's say, thermal paste you're gonna now not need anymore. It's gonna just sit perfect. And this is the way to go. So here, this is the side where the CPU is gonna sit. Maybe I'm gonna lap it a little bit more. I got you some polish uh, paper, I don't know how it calls. This one here, it's very nice too. So with this one here, you can later just put it over there, see that? And you can just polish it a little bit. This is some some kind of 
like 2000 paper, something like that, or 1000. Okay, but look, just okay, don't need more. Same here, simple thing in Simba. <laughs> so, yeah, it's nice, it's okay, it's way better than it was before. And I love it. And you know already, guys, when NSC loves it, you got to love it too. NSC. In the place to be. NSC. Sempre assim. Embaixo, 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 embaixo. <laughs> Da, 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 move it to the left. Da, 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 move it to the right.